welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install custom Minecraft maps, worlds, or saves. They're the exact same thing in 1.18.1. By the way, the reason I say they're the exact same thing is a custom world, is a custom map, is a custom save file for Minecraft. So keep that in mind. I might use the words interchangeably here. You may be looking for a search for one of those, right? And that's why this video comes up, because they're all the exact same. And by the way, while this tutorial that you're seeing on your screen is 1.17, the video you're watching right now will be here whenever you do come to this webpage. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and first and foremost mention our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually own just Facebook so much, so we host our own server. Play at our breakdowncraft.com on them, so check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your own Minecraft server, where you can quickly and easily add a custom map. Thanks to Apex for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, Let's, let's go ahead and jump on into this. The first thing you want to do to get custom maps is download one. Now, you may already have one downloaded. If that's the case, go ahead and press forward on your keyboard a few times because you don't need this next part. But if you don't have a custom map or you just want to find some cool ones that you can play after the one that you have in mind, here is a list, second link down below, to our website where we have 21 custom maps for Minecraft. Now, not all of these are for 1.18. Some of them are for older versions, but we do constantly add new ones, usually about once a month or once a week. So depending on, you know, kind of what maps come out, a new map will get added here. Nevertheless, though, we are going to be downloading from this website version 1.18 maps. And it's very, very important that you do not download maps for other versions and try to run them in 1.18. In the past, a 1.16.5 map, for example, right, if we go down all the way to the bottom, like this 1.16.5 map poison probably is going to work okay in 1.17.1. That's not the case anymore for 1.17 to 1.18. Any maps that are pre-1.18 should be played in max version 1.17. Any maps post-1.18, so 1.18 or newer maps, can be played in those versions. That's because of the world generation changes that we saw in Minecraft 1.18. So let's say we were to take this, you know, like parkour map right here. If you take this parkour map and try to load it in 1.18, it's going to try to add all the new chunks and all the new blocks under this map, under Y0. It's not going to work, right? So that is something to keep in mind, and it will break a lot of older maps if you try to play them in 1.18. So we want to make sure we're downloading maps that are version 1.18.1. Specifically for this video, we're going to download Logic here. By the way, you can just click on the green download button to be taken to the download page for the maps, as well as Radiant City Official. Now, I'm doing these two specific because they're on different download pages, right? So this is hosted on CurseForge. So when you come here, you want to come over here to the right-hand side on CurseForge, scroll down until you find the version of the map you want. We're playing 1.18, and then click on that orange download file next to it. The download will begin after a few seconds on Curse Forge. It's that simple. It's that easy to download something on Curse Forge. Some maps, though, are hosted on Minecraft maps. And on Minecraft maps, it's a similar process. You just scroll down. You can read a bit more about the map and everything, but you just want to click on this download map button. When you click on that, the map will download in the bottom left, right like so. See? Pretty simple, pretty easy, and a great way to uh, basically download the maps that you want. Right? There you go. <laughs> now we can go ahead, though, and minimize our browser because we have both of these maps downloaded, and they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon and the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, or if you're on Windows 11, by the way, it'll be in the center of your screen, and this tutorial will work on Windows 11. We have checked it, just uh, click the little Windows icon in the center of your screen, and then you'll be good to go. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and type in downloads. We have this downloads file folder here. Open that, and then in here you'll find the map. So we have the RC, which is Radiant City, and then we have Minecraft Maps logicless right so there's logicless there awesome go ahead and take and drag and drop these to your desktop now one of the hardest parts about installing a custom save file is they have to be unzipped and if you just unzip these files and then add them to minecraft they're not going to work so this is where it gets very very important and it's very very key that you go through and kind of follow what we're doing here because it is, like I said, the hardest part of getting a map. So once you've got your map, it'll most likely be a .zip file. Now, if you don't see .zip, that's okay, as long as it's, you know, it's like this little zip icon right here. Or if you've installed WinRAR in the past, I kind of recommend uninstalling it. Nevertheless, if you have installed WinRAR in the past, you might have a WinRAR or 7-zip file. If that's the case, the tutorial is going to be a bit different, but it'll be similar. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and right-click on this and then click Extract All. Now, if you do have WinRAR or 7-zip, uninstall it. But if you do, go ahead and, you know, I think it's Extract or Extract Key or something like that on those. It's a bit different. But for vanilla, what you have, no other file managers like WinRAR or 7-Zip, just right-click and click on Extract All, and then click Extract. And you want to do this for any maps you want to install. So right now we're doing it for Logicless, and then we're going to do it for Radiant City here. So boom, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and right-click Extract All on Radiant City, Extract, and 
Now it's extracting. There we go, the map is now extracted. Over here on the left hand side, we have two folders that are not zip files. We can now remove these zip files. We don't need those anymore. But what we do need is um, these, right? We need both of these folders. Now, before you just go ahead and be like, all right, I'm done, you gotta do the hard part. This is where it gets confusing and where things can be different for everyone who installs a custom map. So what you wanna do is go ahead and open up this folder and then most likely you're gonna have another folder in here. Open that up and then you may even have another folder, right? But as soon as you see something like this, advancements, data, dim one, dim dash one, or you know you have things like a region folder, any of these folders, and you might not have all of them, you probably won't, but any of these folders are what you're looking for, right? Once you see folders like this, as well as like you know a level, an icon, different things like that, you're good to go, right? you are good to go so once you've got that what we want to do is go ahead and press the back arrow in the top left and then drag this to our desktop right like so now this was a little weird because it basically took the folder we had and converted that and added these to it like this that's not always going to happen and i'm guessing it's not going to happen with logic list here so let's go ahead and do that one and so logic list we want to open that up and then boom there's logic list we double click on it and then we see those folders as you can see data dim one dim dash one as well as level things like that right again might not have all these folders might not have all these files but you'll have some of them that's all you need then click back in the top left and now we have logic list we can drag and drop that to the desktop now as i said logic list didn't kind of like go back into this folder that's because it was named differently than Radiant City was. So at this point, we now have this kind of like empty minecraftmaps.com logic list folder. We can go ahead and delete that. Right? We don't need that. What we need is logic list and RC here. So how do we check and make sure these are correct? Well, as soon as you open the folder, you should see this, right? You should see these files as soon as you open the folder. If you don't, go ahead and do, do the process again, right? Drag that to your desktop. So on and so forth until the file you open up immediately shows you these folders and files, right? Radiant City is the same way. As soon as we open it up, we see these folders and files. They are now good to go. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and get them installed. To do this, you want to click the little Windows icon. Again, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen, or on Windows 11 in the center of your screen. Click on that, and then tap on Run. And then you want to open up the Run app here. Once you've opened up the Run app, you want to type percent app data percent sign in the text box. So percent sign, app data percent sign, right like so in the text box, and click OK. That's then going to open up your roaming folder, and in here you'll have a dot .minecraft folder. Open that up, and then in here you'll have a saves folder. This is where we're going to drag and drop our Minecraft worlds that we want to install. So just take your custom maps, drag and drop them from your desktop into the saves folder, right like so. Now we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.18 or 1.18.1. Recommend playing on 1.18.1, honestly, at this point. So go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.18.1 here. Nothing special, just open up Minecraft. I will see you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu, and to find your maps, click on single player, and there they are. We have Radiant City up here at the top, and then if we scroll down, there is a logic list. We've also got some other maps in here that are just kind of my maps. I'm just going to delete these because it uh, gets in the way. There we go. So now we have the logic list map in Radiant City. Now, one of the key things here is that when you open these, you shouldn't need to convert them. Oddly enough, though, Radiant City has kind of lied to us. It says it's 117.1, but it's not, right? You can open it. As long as you can open these maps without getting a warning, a conversion warning, something like that, you're good to do so, right? You are good to open the maps. If it says, are you sure you want to open this map? It's for an older version. It's probably going to break for 118.1, and that's just unfortunate. That's probably not going to be the case for 1.19. That's probably not going to be the case in the future. But for right now, 1.18 maps can only be played in 1.18. 1.17 and before maps can only be played in 1.17 and before. And if you take anything away from this video, other than how to install maps, it should be that, right? That is a very, very key thing. And I, I, I'm stressing it a lot because if it asks you to convert a map, the map is probably going to break. It's probably not going to work. So nevertheless, and, and again, that's probably not going to be true for 1.18 maps and 1.19, but it is currently true. So nevertheless, here we are in Radiant City. This is like an adventure map. It's, it's honestly really, really cool. I think it spawned me in, uh, in Spectator here, which uh, is very weird. But nevertheless, awesome map. Tons and tons of stuff to explore and look at. And I mean, look at these builds. Whew. Anyway, this isn't an advertisement for this map or anything. I just I just think it's a really cool map. I love city builds. So there we have that. And then we do have Logic List as well, which is a puzzle map, I believe. Awesome map in and of itself. But... As you can see, it is for version 1.18, and we're good to open it up. Now, oddly, it's asking if we want to convert this, but it should be fine. I just did a big speech on you shouldn't do this, but it says it's version 1.18, so we should be good to do this. Always create a backup and load, though, just in case, right? If you do that, you should be good. Very odd, though, that it just did that when it should be a 1.18 map. I don't understand. By the way, the reason it's reloading like this is it's loading in custom textures, which is something we're seeing more and more of. So, nevertheless, here we are in the map. Very odd that it had us uh, it had us do that. I don't understand why uh, it had us do a conversion warning when it was native and uh, 
it shouldn't have done that. Anyway, nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm glad I did that at the end there. But overall, most of the time, you should not have to do that. And if you do, it's probably not the best. You should probably go play it in the version that it says. And I'm guessing if we launched 1.18 even, we wouldn't have had to have done that conversion. It was where we were in 1.18.1. But nevertheless, there you have it. That is how you can add maps to Minecraft 1.18. And again, convert maps at your own risk. If you do want to do that, just create a backup and then you'll be good. And you can access that backup by going into run and then going back into percent app data percent, going back into dot Minecraft, and then there's backups. And right there it is. You can see there's a logic list that we had. So nevertheless, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.